Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the second phase of Myasis 1, which is known as the Metaphase 1. So before this, we have talked about the Prophase 1 and the five subphases of Prophase 1, where the initially the nuclear membrane and the nuclear lie have disappeared. The chromosomes have become chromosome like structure from the network like structure it has attained a thin thread like structure. Now the phase is known as the metaphase 1. Let us see what are the different activities a cell is performing during this stage. So metaphase 1 here similar type of activities is going to happen uh, as we have already discussed like that in case of the mitosis. Here the only difference is in case of mitosis there was a single uh, chromosome. Now here we will be seeing about two pairs of chromosomes because there are homologous pairs. So here the arrangement of bivalence in equatorial or metaphase plate. Initially in the prophase we have discussed that the bivalent formation had taken place because the homologous chromosomes had come together and they paired. So these bivalents now they arrange themselves at the equatorial position. So there will be two pairs of homologous chromosomes uh, and it forms the metaphase plate. The centromeres of the homologous chromosomes they lie equidistant from, the, uh, from each other. Now the asters or the astral rays that were formed initially during at the prophase. So from there microtubule filaments will form. So these microtubule filaments will attach itself to the centromere positions of these homologous chromosomes. Now slowly and steadily due to polymerization and depolymerization of these spindle fibers or the microtubules what happens there is repeated pulling and pushing movement. Due to this repeated pulling and pushing movement, all the homologous pairs, they arrange themselves at the equatorial plate or the mid position of the cell. Due to this, the centromeres of all the bivalents, they will produce a double metaphasic plate. Why double metaphasic plate? Because there are homologous chromosomes and so these two pairs of the chromosomes, they will form two uh, plates or metaphasic plates. Hence, this is known as the double metaphasic plate. The chromosomes they get attached to the spindle poles and by means of the chromosomal fiber. So chromosomal fiber is going to attach as you can see over here. So these chromosomes they are attached at the centromere position with the help of chromosomal fibers and because of repeated pulling and pushing movement they have arranged themselves at the central axis of the uh, whole cell. So in this video we have talked about the metaphase 1 where we have seen that the chromosomes have aligned itself at the equatorial position of the cell. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.